There she is. Boy. I guess we're ready for some paper. Think she'll win the contest, Dad? I hope so, partner. You better check this string, Timmy. Make sure it isn't tangled. And then we can try it. Come on, Lassie. Now you can help. Pick it up, girl. Take it over there. Just a second, girl. Okay, go a little further. I guess so. By the time we take it over to the field, the glue will be dry. I'll get the string. Hi, you two. Hi. You've been out here working for hours. How's it going? Oh, I think we got a good one this time. Oh, that's a beauty. We're going to take it out for a test flight. Oh, well, not right now. It's way past your bedtime. Oh, Mom. Oh, Ruth, give us another half hour. By then, it'll... See, it is pretty dark at that. You'll have lots of time tomorrow to test it. But tomorrow's Friday. And Saturday's a kite derby. Oh, don't I know it. Every den mother in the pack has been busy as a bee getting ready. And every cub scout has signed up. It's not too dark. Can't we just try it once? No, no, no. Now walk to bed with you. Go on. And you too, mascot. Okay. We'll be in in a minute to say goodnight. You know, Paul, it was my job to register all the boys. And they were supposed to list any member of their family who was going to help them fly their kite. Yes, I know. So he put down you and Uncle Petrie and me. And Lassie. You guessed it. <laughs> Timmy, cheer up. I guess even the birds are walking today. Why did it have to rain? Well, that's the way it goes sometimes. But we sure needed it. I didn't need it. I gotta test my kite. Because tomorrow's the derby. Too bad that kite ain't waterproof. Then you could test it, rain or no rain. Not me. Cub Scouts don't fly kites in the rain. It's dangerous. Suppose it fell over a power line. Or lightning struck it. Say, I guess that's right. Hm. I never thought of that. Good thing you're a Cub Scout. Well, maybe by late afternoon. What about late afternoon? Weatherman says it might clear up by then. Hmm. Hope he's right. Otherwise, you're going to have a mighty unhappy little boy on your hands. Oh, I should have let Timmy test that kite last night. Oh, it was too dark anyway. The boys sure are excited about that kite derby. Hmm. All the Cub Scouts are excited. Oh, it certainly would be a shame to have to postpone it because of bad weather. Think of all those disappointed little children. And their fathers. I guess she wants to show us something. What is it, girl? Look! I gotta test my kite after all. Don't let anything happen to it. I don't know what we do if anything happened to it. <laughs> <laughs> nice going, son. One good thing about the rain, at least I get to have you help me with supper. How many more do I peel? Well, let's see. Dad, Dad! It stopped raining! 
It sure has. Oh, I am glad. Come on, Timmy. Let's go, Lassie. Come on. Come on. Good luck. <laughs> oh, Paul? Paul? Come back here. May I have my potato, please? <laughs> Thank you. Which one is the father and which one's the son? Thank you. Try and be back in time for supper. Okay. Looks like she's clearing up all right. We'll get it out in an open field and give her a real tryout. It's gonna fly just great, Dad. I guess this is as good a spot as any. Better let me launch her, Timmy, and you can take over. Okay. Timmy, let go! get her up a lot higher than that, Timmy. Here, you fly her for a while. Watch out. Gee, this is fun, Dad. Uh-oh. Better let her have more strength, Timmy. Put a tail on her after all. Let her have more string, Timmy. It's almost out, Dad. What do I do now? Walk in toward the kite, Timmy. It's just a strong gust of wind. It'll let up in a minute. Watch it, Timmy. The wind's beginning to die down again. She's coming down, Timmy. Run with her, run back, keep her up. That's right, Timmy, hold her up. You all right, son? Get that stick. Get the stick, girl. Get the stick. Get the stick, Lassie. Get the stick. Kite's down now, Timmy. Good girl, Lassie. You tried anyway. Well, let's go get the kite. I hope it didn't get hurt. All we can do is follow the string and find out. We'll pick the stick up later. Derby tomorrow. I'm sorry, son. I guess not. Uh, pass the potatoes, please. 
You haven't finished the potatoes on your plate yet, Uncle Petrie. Oh, that, that's right, yeah. Well, uh, they, they are awfully good. I... Yeah, sure. I understand. Oh, Timmy, do try and eat something, please. Paul, don't you think you should... Well, you haven't touched your food. All you're doing is pushing it around with your fork. Oh, if only it had happened sooner. Then we would have had a chance to get to the store. Before they closed, we could have bought more material and started all over again. Well, how about some of that stuff from the other kites you tried to build? Can't you salvage some of that? Yeah, I cleaned it all out this morning. It was the only thing I had to do in the rain. Why couldn't I have let it go just once? Well, the kite derby sure will be a pretty thing to watch, Timmy. What's the use of me going now? Oh, Timmy, you can't mean that. Your whole den will be there. And all of them will be flying a kite. Look, I know how you feel, dear. Really, I do. But they're all your friends. After Dad and I work so hard, how can I go there and just sit? Oh? Timmy, your mother's talking about good sportsmanship. I know they taught you that in scouting. Yes, sir. OK, Mom. I'll go, even if I haven't got a kite. That's a good boy. Maybe you can help me with a lemonade stand. I guess so. Will you gentlemen excuse me? And uh, would you mind clearing the table when you're through? Yes, of course, but what are you going to do? I'm not quite sure, but I'll think of something. Now, let her be. She's got something on her mind. That didn't take long. Nothing like teamwork to get a job done in a hurry. That's right. I can't play with you now, Lassie. Dad and Uncle Petrie feel awful about the kite. They're trying not to let me know. We can all play dominoes. No, why didn't I think of that? All right. That's a good idea, son. Let's get your mother. Mom, we can all play dominoes. Dominoes? Oh, no, we're not. You're going to build another kite, and we're all going to help you. But, Ruth, we don't have anything to make a kite with. Well, I'm not so sure about that. Uncle Petrie, do you remember that old bamboo window blind that fell apart? Do you have any idea where it is? Now, let's see. Yeah, that's up in the attic. Really? Good. Would you bring it to me? Sure will. And, Timmy, um, bring me my sewing basket. Will you, you know where I keep it. Okay. <laughs> Look, you know the ancient Chinese were flying kites centuries ago? Come to think of it, you're right. So you see what the encyclopedia has to say about kites. I'll be back in a minute. Oh, she'll be back in a minute. Say, Timmy, what would you think of a musical kite? A musical kite? What's that? Well, it seems they used to make them in China. They put a reed on the kite with a hole in it, and the wind makes it sing. Could we make one? We could try. Oh, I think Ruth's got something. These just might do with that. We could double them for strength. They'd be perfect for the frame. What will we use for paper? Well, sometimes they use silk instead of paper in China. Here's some silk. That was one of your favorite dresses, Ruth. <laughs> you remember it? You know I do. And when I wore it last? And the way you looked in it? Well, that's why I want you and Timmy to have it. I don't want it to end up in the rag heap. I'd like to see it flying through the air. Maybe we could make a singing kite. Well, maybe we can. 
A singing blue kite. We'll call it the Bluebird. That's a good name, son. That looks fine, Ruth, just fine. <laughs> just a few more stitches now. It's pretty late for you, dear. Hope you're not too tired. I'm okay. Well, you don't have to hold the end anymore. Okay. Your looking in the encyclopedia was an inspiration. <laughs> I'm willing to bet that'll be the prettiest kite of the whole bunch. Let's hope she flies even better than she looks. I'll just uh, tie this off so it won't come loose. I think it looks very good. What do you think, Timmy? I'll carry him to bed. I better put this in his room. Going to bed, Lassie? little fellow. He's really had quite a day. Like you could use a little help, Ruth. Yes, Uncle Petrie, I could. <laughs> just a second, I get your change. Oh, listen, you wait a minute now. There's plenty for everybody. You just wait your turn. There we are. Your attention, please. The judges have reached a decision in the category for the most original kite. There'll be three categories all told: ten points for originality, ten for highest altitude, and twenty points for endurance for the kite that stays up the longest. And now. The winner of the first category for the most original kite is the Bluebird, flown by Timmy Martin. Did you hear that, Lassie? The Bluebird won 10 points. Good going, Timmy. Congratulations. Remember, you helped too. And Mom thought of it. How'd you like me to spell you for a while? No thanks, Dad. I'm not a bit tired. Your attention, please. The judges have reached a decision in the second category for highest altitude attained. Ten points go to the blue and gold box kite flown by Mark Browning. Now, there remains only one category, endurance. So far, we have a tie-in points. Timmy's Bluebird having won for originality, and now Mark's box kite for altitude. Who is this Mark Browning? Is he in Timmy's den? No, he's in den number three. Oh, dandy little flashlight they're given for a prize. Also, and most important, a streamer to the cub for his den's flag. Yeah. Hi. Well, I'll have a lemonade here, please, and one to go. All righty. How are you doing, Paul? Well, fine. So far, the captain won't let me have the controls. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, guess I'd better get back to the farm and tend the evening chores. Can you get along without me, Uncle Petrie? Of course I can. You need it here. Tell Timmy I'll be rooting for him. Bye now. What do you think the Bluebird's chances are? Well, I think she'll hold up in a light breeze. I hope so, anyway. Hey, wait a minute. That'll be 20 cents, please. Thank you. Well, folks, it's getting to be quite a contest. We're now down to two kites still fighting it out to the finish. And it's still a tie. 
Each kite has got 10 points, but the wind seems to be dying pretty fast, so we should have the final result before too long. Paul, can you help me for a minute? I'm all out of lemonade, and the full one's too heavy for me to lift. I'll be back in a minute, Timmy, okay? Sure, Dad. That's what I call teamwork, and a close finish. Good girl, Lassie, good girl. Go on, Timmy, run, run back. Keep her up there, run back. Reel in string. Reel in string, Timmy, the wind's almost gone. Judges declare the winner to be the Bluebird with 30 points. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the judges would like me to announce that Timmy's dog, Lassie, who saved the Bluebird from defeat, had been duly registered as a member of Timmy's family, and therefore eligible to fly the kite. She's also the mascot of Timmy's den. Timmy, you and Lassie come over here, please. Here you are, Timmy. Congratulations. Thank you. 